Hey, what's up, Chad? A uh, quick demo video for you for your Creepy Uncle by Dennis Lukianov. Um, this was something that got sent to me a few weeks ago by my buddy Joe. Um, I finished it up for him and you provided all the parts. Uh, so you gave me the Goth Master chassis, um, everything really, right? Um, the only thing that I couldn't use that you provided me was the, um, in your bag of crystals, they're all too big. Um, but I have a lot of quartz crystals here, so I was able to uh, find one that was close and then I cut it down and it fits in the chamber. It looks really nice. Um, so let's go ahead and go over this, right? It's installed with a Profi B2. Um, get your blade plug right here, but we'll go ahead and take it out. You've got a uh, stock MPX cells in there. So we use the uh, small PCB holder to go in the recessed area so you get your entire blade depth. And then uh, this hilt comes apart and basically it'll be three pieces, right? So your backside here, we'll unscrew this to get to your battery. And I left the battery in it. Um, this is a little bit different from the last master chassis that I did because I did put the OLED screen and a kill key in this guy. So once you take this out, you've got this, right? It's a removable battery. That's what it looks like without the battery in. Um, no spring sides are negative on this guy. The, the spring side or the, or the negative side is going to be over here by your PCB. So you want to make sure you don't ever get that uh, confused. So we pop that in there. Um, you flip this over and you've got your, uh, your brass accents here, which look really nice, but you've got a kill switch right here. So you can reach in there with your finger um, carefully and pop that over. It's, it, it's easy to do. So now it's in the on position, but we'll leave this sit for a minute. You get your 28 millimeter speaker here in the back. Um, this pommel cap and this chassis, it's all, it's all a unit, right? This is kind of a press fit down into this guy. And this all just kind of stays as one piece. So we'll set this off for a second, off to the side. Um, then your second piece will be at the grenade section, right? So you want to just unscrew this guy. Um, it's a super tight fit uh, to get the OLED screen in there and everything that I had to do. Um, you know, there's just a lot going on. Uh, it's a tight fit, but it, it, it fits obviously. So when this comes out, you've got your crystal, we've got your crystal reveal. Um, I got a little quartz crystal in there that fit just right. So hopefully you like that. Uh, the point of the crystal goes just past your accent. So you can't see that, but it lights up really well. Um, come over here and you've got your OLED screen right here that will fire up here in a second. And then you've got your stock connectors. So we've got one set that we use for the top here. You got your pins there that meet that PCB in there for your main uh, PCB. And then we also had another set of pins in here that meet uh, the PCB for your battery, right? That's how that's all set up like that. So now that we've got, um, you know, your kill key on, or, or we flipped your kill key rather, we'll take the battery and we'll slide it in. I'm gonna put it over here so you can see your accent LEDs. Now these are set to mimic the cave scene on every font, right? So you get that mixture of red and green blinking back and forth. Crystal lights up really nice on both sides. You got your OLED there. Now of course you've got the uh, motion controls, but if you didn't want to use those, <laughs> excuse me, if you didn't want to use those, you could just hit the activation back here. And then your front button is your auxiliary. We tap it off. And then when we use auxiliary to change our sound fonts, that's when we start scrolling through on our OLED screen. We'll cycle through these stock ones. Go away! Now we're back to Grumpy Uncle. Um, I put the three on here that you had on your sound card. I just had to uh, mess with those a little bit. And then, of course, I, uh, I programmed your board with them, right? So now when we go to put this guy on, um, it's super tight. So when you get to about right here or so, you just want to come in here with your finger and just kind of squeeze a little bit and just, just kind of help it and guide it a little bit. And you'll get past that one spot. And then from, from here, you can just kind of go ahead and come in with it. Screw this on without activating the motion controls. And then this will screw on all the way, right? It goes all the way down. 
So now when we flip it on, you got your LEDs working like they should. This thing sounds really good. And then back to the blinkies when it's off. Um, so I'm gonna throw a test blade in here. This time I am gonna use the blade retention. My test blade is super snug. Um, so your blade probably will be too, but that's okay, especially in a thin neck. To have a snug blade is, uh, you know, not bad at all. It goes in all the way. We'll lock down your blade retention right here. Fire it up. This is the first time I got to use my test blade that Jeff bought me from Bendu Armory, so thanks, Jeff. This thing is a super bright, very nice quality blade. Flash on flash. So to get to your soundtracks on your font, what you wanna do is hold down your power button for a second and let go. And you can turn it on. And do the same thing to turn it off. And to the next font. Are you a Jedi? This is the hero, the Mando hero. I'll see you again, I promise. Right. I am a Jedi. The return. Like my father before me. Slow flash on flash. take the blade out so that you can see well, I mean you see everything's working with the blade but we'll just fire up that crystal chamber one more time because it looks pretty cool I'll kind of twist twist this out this thing's super loud and we'll just take this grenade section off battery meter just like that and then we'll uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the battery out this time but anyway that is the uh, functionality of your saber uh, let me know if you got any questions hopefully this came out the way you liked appreciate your patience on this um, took me a little bit to get to it um, you know, and I spent all day on it today, was able to knock it out. So, uh, you know, these are always a challenging build, but it's nice to do them every once in a while, just so that I can show myself that I can. So, uh, let me know if you got any questions. If not, this will go out in the mail to you tomorrow. All right. Thanks.